one, indigenous people were the first stewards of land, um, and therefore the youth of indigenous people are the future stewards of the land. Your voice doesn't have to be loud Ooh, yeah. to be strong. Yes. Sometimes the quietest voice carries the biggest message. <laughs> we have our culture, and so ensuring that that's at the forefront of all our decisions and all the, all the money that we do um, upholding our values. <laughs> For us, the company union team and with the support of the team members around the table, uh, we felt that it was a really big learning for us. Our businesses, our children, our culture comes from us, it comes through us and it is done by us. So if we are not well, that will be contaminated, that will influence everything else that comes from us. So therefore, self-care is a responsibility. It is not a nice to have. I was really naive. I was like, oh, I'm going to go to Hollywood straight away because I'm a great actor. I'm a great drama queen. <laughs> and then I realized really quickly, oh, that's not how it works. Because not only am I a girl, I'm a brown girl. And not only am I a brown girl, I'm a dark-skinned brown girl. Don't tell me we want to tell a brown story, but we don't want to print this brown ways in the way that we do things. The intention to work with Disney was to circumvent and leap over our own barriers and our own gatekeepers in this country because if the biggest global company in the world can see that our language is this, then so can the people in our own backyard. Yeah.